Auction. Welcome into Five on Two. We'll have that for you in a moment. First, though, new projections show the 2020 census could negatively impact the state of Ohio over the next decade. The state's rate of growth is slower than other states, meaning it could lose a seat in Congress. Two News reporter Adam Reif is asking questions about how the Miami Valley could be impacted. Each year, the federal government doles out roughly 700 to 800 billion dollars in grants, and the amounts often correlate with the number of people impacted. So this year's census could cost the state of Ohio a lot of money. Parts of the population that would notice the biggest difference, though, would be dramatically hit by it. The population of many Midwestern states, Ohio included, is growing slower than several southern states where the population is exploding. That means the state of Ohio could lose a representative in Congress. We've seen really is distribution of political power from the Midwest in some ways down to the Southeast and Southwest. But standards for awarding federal grants could also be affected and people in the state could feel those effects more immediately. Everything from education funding to school lunches uh, to health care funding and something like Medicare um, all of that is going to be affected by the numbers they get from the census. Ohio relies on drug treatment services and job placement programs while battling the opioid crisis, but even people who don't use those services could see a difference. Even local services like emergency, fire, uh, EMT, those things are distributed based on census numbers as well. So how many EMT stations do we need? How many fire trucks do we need? And the state may not be prepared to make up for the losses in federal funding. It's possible the state can step into that gap, but usually if you see population decline, the state's going to have fewer resources as well. So it becomes something of a cycle. If, in fact, Ohio loses a congressional seat, the state's General Assembly will decide how those districts will be contracted. In the newsroom, Adam Rye, 5 on 2.